A very common practice when working in Revit is you'll move underneath the project browser, you'll open up one of your views, you'll open up another view, and then you'll open up yet another view. And for the purposes of this exercise, feel free to just open up several different views over here from the project browser. When you've completed that, what you'll find is that you have the one view that's open here on your screen. Most people don't realize is that this actually opens up multiple views at the same time. If we want to see that a little better, move up here and select on Tile Windows. And we'll see each view that we double clicked on just a moment ago. The problem with this is, is that if you have too many views open, then if you make a change in one of those views, it'll have to regenerate that change in each of the views that that change could show up in. So if I moved this curtain wall, for instance, it would have to update that move in this view, in this view, as well as in this view. Anytime that your computer has to update views, it'll start to slow things down. And you don't want to do that. So to speed things up, start closing down your extra views. The fastest way to close these extra views is to find a view that you want to leave open. In this case, I'm going to choose on my floor plan level one view. And this is the only view that I want to have open. To do this, come underneath the view tab and when this is fully expanded out, you can select Close Hidden. And any window that's hidden by this main window will now be closed down. We'll be able to see that if we choose on Tile Window, you'll see that it's expanded itself fully out. Or if we select right here on this button, Minimize, this was the only view that was left open after telling it to close the hidden windows. So to close your hidden windows, just remember to open up the view, expand it fully out on the screen that you want to keep, and then select Close Hidden from underneath the View tab on the ribbon.